How's it going guys? It's Friday, August 26th, and I've got this week's freshwater video for you guys. Let's get it started. First up on this week's video, we have the Cardinal Tetras. These guys are similar in size, shape, and care to the Neon Tetras. However, that beautiful red stripe goes straight throughout the body, and the blue seem to vibrant even more. These guys are an amazing schooling fish and a great way to add an amazing pop of color to any planted setup or any freshwater setup in general. They're small, peaceful, easy to care for, and love being in big groups. Absolutely one of my favorite fish around. I always like to have a school of them. Next up on this week's list, we have this beautiful, extra large Cydonidus angelicus. Not only is this a beautiful, an amazingly fun to keep Cydonidus species, but this one in particular is much larger than you generally find them available for sale. You get yourself a nice, healthy, established fish and a great, fun, entertaining species to keep. Next up on this week's list, we have the Pygmy Corydoras Catfish. These guys, like all other Corydoras Catfish, make a great addition to any cleaner crew. However, they are also much more active and love to school and will even swim in open water, making it so that they also stand well on their own as their own unique fun fish school to have in your tank, with the added benefit of making for a great cleaner crew. All around an amazing fish and especially great in nano tanks. Next up, we have this week's oddball fish in the Platinum Half Beaks. These are an interesting, top-dwelling, unique oddball fish, and unlike many other half beaks, this species does stay quite small and is easy to manage in most any aquariums. They're easy to feed, relatively easy to care for, and just a fun and interesting way to fill a part of your tank that's not often filled by other fish. A great top-level fish swimmer, and a beautiful, shiny fish. In <laughs> fact, they're so shiny that sometimes they're a little hard to film. All in all, interesting and wonderful. Next up on this week's list, we have another great schooling species that's right there on par with the Cardinal Tetras in the Rummy Nose Tetras. These guys have a beautiful red face along with that vibrantly striped tails. They're great schooling fish, easy to care for, and a lot of fun to have around. Extremely active and peaceful. Definitely another great addition to any planted or freshwater setups where you just want a beautiful school of fish swimming around. For this week's beta of the week, we have this absolutely stunning Galaxy Koi male beta. These guys are often called Koi betas because they carry the same tricolored patterns as many of the beautiful large Japanese Koi fish do, but in a much smaller and easier to manage package. These are a short fin beta species meaning they don't have a lot of the troubles that many of the longer fin beta species have, but still have all the wonderful personality and feisty attitude as just about any other beta. All wrapped up in one beautiful, shiny, bright package. For our next fish of the week, we have this absolutely stunning female flower horn. These guys are generally best kept on their own, but they well make up for that with their absolutely striking beauty and absolutely loads of personality. These guys are amazing fish to keep and one that, as any cichlid collector can tell you, you just can't miss out on. And she and herself is a particularly amazing example of one. Come check her out. And to wrap up this week's video, we have one more amazing schooling fish. And here we have the pork chop rasboras. Named so because the black markings on them almost look like the bones in a pork chop. These guys are related to the harlequin rasboras, but tend to carry a lot brighter orange colors and stay a bit smaller. They're a great schooling species, peaceful, easy to keep, and fun in any schooling aquarium. Alrighty guys, that's it for this week's freshwater video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what fish you'd like to see next. See you later.